done a, you know a bit of comedy and I've well mostly drama, but I've done some comedy and I sing and I dance. So I thought maybe I could do some, you know, I could incorporate some dancing and some choreography into some some comedy stuff maybe. D I, I would, just just shut up and like, listen for a second, please, Neville. Okay, Nev. 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 You don't seem to understand. Not just anyone can go up to the Edinburgh Fringe Edinburgh. 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 Edinburgh Fringe Festival. Okay. It takes years of practice, you know. I didn't know that. We're talking about the Edinburgh, the, the Edinburgh. Pleasant Theatre right. here. Yeah. I think you've gone absolutely nuts, love. Wait, you can't just ask for me? It's not all about you, is it? I've got my own blooming show to do. Pig Blister. Sorry. It's got a pig in it and a blister and everything. Pig in a blister, great, good. We'll see what I can do. Thank you. I well, appreciate that. I'm not promising anything. Okay, you don't have to promise, but I appreciate you just. Can you that. just? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Jeez. Beneath the fringe. Oh, hello, and I'm lucky enough to have with me today the comedy programmer for the Pleasant Theatre. Uh, Ryan Taylor. Well, it's very nice to meet you finally, Ryan. Hello, Malik. Um, well, first question. Question one. Well, let's just say I want to put on my show, Pig Blister at the Pleasance. What do I do? Um, you can fill in a form that we have an mm -hmm. application form. When abouts during the year? Is it like a thing I can do in it's February, March, or even before then? Uh, January is when we open the... January. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so you do that in January. Fill in the form, send it in. Uh, with the idea of the show, mm -hmm. what it's about, uh, show title, how you're going to market it. Um, okay. And then if you're doing a preview, invite us along, and if it's any good, we'll come and see it. I can do that. And what do you think is the key to having a successful Edinburgh show? Any tips you could give people going up to Edinburgh of how to be successful? Um, First of all, go to the festival. Never just go and see what the festival is. Before you do a Before show. Before you do a show. Mm -hmm. Go and find out what Edinburgh's about. Go and see as many shows as you can, as many different venues. Um, then when you've got, then come up with an idea for a show. Want to do a show. Mm -hmm. Don't just go up there 20 minutes of stand up and just decide to extend it for an hour. Um, how, how important do you think the Edinburgh Festival is for comedians? Um, I think you can become a better comedian by doing Edinburgh. Yeah. Because doing your show every night for 25 nights over the whole of August in front of every type of audience you can possibly imagine, I think you grow as a performer. Yeah. Well, I think if you go into Edinburgh, it's a huge financial and sort of, it's a commitment. It's, it takes all year to prepare yeah. a show. So unless you're ready to do it, then don't go up there. Do you think a lot of people, you talked about the costs mm. and it being very expensive. Do you think now it's become too expensive for people to go up and people take advantage of, of performers? Um, I think you can sell a show without spending a fortune. Yeah. Accommodation is the biggest expense for any show going to Edinburgh. Right. But if you can share a flat with loads of other comics or with loads of... No. From your perspective, what do you think the best bit of marketing for a show is? Do posters still matter or flyers or is it like word of mouth or reviews? The best person that can sell your show is you. Mm -hmm. Is you handing flyers out to people and telling them to come and see your show and selling your show to them. Mm. Um, word of mouth is what sells most shows out in Edinburgh. Frickin' pig blister. Over your 13 years, what do you think your favourite shows you've ever seen at the, uh, at the festival? Um, <laughs> we are Clank. Uh, the Mighty Boosh, Arctic yeah. Boosh, that was one of my favourites. Uh, Did you know they were going to be big when you saw them? No. Oh. I absolutely loved them. I saw them every day. When I was 19 years old, I saw them every yeah. single day for 25 days. Blimey. And, they, and then they did nothing. Nothing happened to them for yeah. years. And then they kept coming back and they did Edinburgh. And then, yeah, now they're huge and obviously mm. filling out the O2 and stuff. I must try and go and see them. The, the, who the... The Mighty Boosh. The Mighty Boosh, yeah, I must yeah. try and go and see Very them. Very good. Um, who else was good? And then recently, I quite like last year, Bo Burnham, who's yeah. an American musical comedian, um, who came over from the States and was a huge success at the festival. Mm. So... Anyone else? 
So, is anyone you think could potentially be a star of the future? Um, this year, there's a lot of people doing their first hour. Mm -hmm. um, some that have done the festival before. Um, Holly Walsh is doing her first. Yeah, I like hour. Holly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> She's uh, only that big, isn't she? She's quite small, yeah. Yeah, so she can fit nicely in this small venue. Yeah, she's in per the cellar. Perfect, <laughs> yeah. Um, Little girl in the cellar. It's perfect, because you just think... <laughs> you see, yeah, and you think, great, perfect fit, perfect fit for the cellar. <laughs> I think you've taken out my idea for show, Pig Blister. What's that about? Do you think there's a space for me um, at the festival? We'll have to see a preview of something. But I don't want to ruin the surprise. It's like a pig <laughs> in a blister and it runs about. Um, but that'll be, you'll be up against some of the, the big names at the festival. Yeah, but it's a pig in a blister, isn't it? Yeah, OK. Um, would you... Are you going to give me a slot or not? Well, we need to talk about it. What size venue would you do? Do you well, want a small? Quite a big one. I, think you, I, thought, I, I thought it was going to go, right, here's Pig Bliss, here's the idea. <laughs> you want to go, brilliant, I'm really pleased you've decided to go with us. Yeah, you can have the Pleasance Cabaret Bar. They brought a really, really big one, Pleasance. Well, the Grand is 700 seats. Pleasance One is 300. So, the grand, can you expand the Grand at all for. A, <laughs> does it go back even further for. It doesn't, but we could do extra shows of Pig Bliss. Yeah, I don't really want to, because the pig gets tired, so I don't really want to do more than one. I don't want to do. Or maybe we could just do a relay to people's TVs from that thing. We could do know. a live feed of Pig, pig live Blister. Live feed, that's it, yeah. Would you do the whole festival every day? Yeah, well, it would sell out that much, wouldn't it? Have you got a good poster? Pig, well, it's just drawing of a pig and biro. OK. It's a deal then, right? <laughs> it's a deal then, right? Uh, yep. Great. Fantastic. <laughs> well, you can see Pig Blister and uh, Ryan mucking around at the Pleasants um, this festival. <laughs> I hope it goes very well. Thank you. Um, and, um, yes, see you next time on Beneath the Fringe, or whatever we call this programme. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> hey, so, um, what do you say? No. Asshole. Beneath the fringe.